welcome back to my channel guys today i'll be showing you how to do a stage 2 remap on a bmw x3 using the ecm titanium software the first thing we're going to do is browse for the original file double click the folder and select the original file only Let the software search for the correct driver. Once the driver is shown, you can abort the search and double click on the top selection. We're going to go ahead and open up the statistics sheet as well. And for stage 2, I'll highlight what we need. And now back on ECM, what we're going to do is go in injection first. And as you can see over there, we're going to do an 8% increase. Once you've got the data in front of you, what you want to do is take the percentage up to 1, have the percent button select and select the data from 20 load and 1000 RPMs. And now hold and drag to the bottom right of the data so you can get to the end and press page up to increase the values by 1%. You want to keep doing the same process by skipping one row and one column each time and get a total of 8% increase altogether. and that concludes the 8% in total so the data that is dark green right now is 8% increased this row is 7% this is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1% and that's how you get a gradual increase on the data we're going to go ahead and do the same on the second injection map as well select the data from 19 load this time and 1000 rpms and drag to the bottom right and press page up to get the 1% increase. Once that's done, you can save and exit and move on to the next one, which is rail pressure. The rail pressure is going to be increased by 4%. So we'll open this up, press enter to access the map and take the percentage down to 0.5. Press the percent button and select the data as we did in the map before. So now we're going to increase it by 0.5% each time. And once that's ready, you can go into the next one. Make sure to have this on Do Not Modify Similar Maps. Phase of injection is going to be 8%. So we'll open it up, have the percentage at 1 for this, and press the percent button. And select all of the data like we did before. And increase all of them one at a time. Until we get 8 increases altogether. And once that's done, you can close that and move on to the next one. The fuel is going to be increased by 5%. So we'll open up the map and keep the percentage on 1. Press enter as it says on the bottom to confirm. And now select the data from 25 to 1000 RPMs. Increase the values 1% each time. Once the 5% is done, you can close this and move on to the next one.
the turbo pressure is next and this is going to be 10% increase so we'll open this up and press enter keep the percentage at 1 have the percent button selected and select the data to modify it and we're going to do this 10 times so that we can get a 1% e so that we can get a 1% increase with each time Once that's done, you can close this and move on to the next one. And we're going to do the same thing here. Keep it at 1%. Have the percentage selected. And select the data. Make sure to save and exit. Once all of the other maps are done, we're going to do the torque limiters. And for stage 2, we're going to do a 40% increase. So we'll open up the map, take the percentage up to 40. And now select all of the data, have the percent button selected and press page up to increase the values. Close that and move on to the next one. Press enter to access the map, press enter to access the map, select all of the data, have the percent button selected and press page up to increase the values. Once that's done you can close all of this down and the map is ready. You can save it and click yes to export the modified file. Go to the original folder and you can now put the new file name for this one i'll save it as x3 stage 2 eco power mod once that's done you can save it and close everything down and if you open up the folder you'll find the new file that's ready to be put into the car here thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have any suggestions for any other videos that we can make for you then leave a comment on any of our videos and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.